Hello and welcome to this special edition of the program AIT Infotech Network. I am here to talk about the first issues and development made in the country of the continent. Stay with us. For news, views, trends in ICT globally and Africa in particular, watch AIT Infotech Network for the latest news and innovation in ICT for development in Africa. Plus, what technology can do for you from business to politics, tourism and culture. I am Bayero Agabi. You're welcome. The Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, has said that it will impose sanctions on mobile operators that continue to deliver poor quality of service. The regulatory agency expressed its appointment of the failure of mobile operators to meet key performance indicators set for them in Nigeria. The objective of the Open Forum is to deliberate on issues regarding the interests and concerns of consumers of ICT products and services including physically challenged persons and the elderly. The consumer is a major stakeholder in the telecommunications industry and as such enjoys a primary focus at the Nigerian Communications Commission NCC. The consumers have different needs and expectations from the industry. It is therefore a core responsibility of the Commission to ensure that the industry at all times satisfies the various needs of the consumers where possible. Speaking with newsmen at the fourth quarter meeting of the Industry Consumer Advisory Forum in Abuja, the NCC said mobile operators were failing in the measurement of quality of service conducted by the Commission on a monthly basis. The Commission has taken steps to work with operators to improve the quality of service. We've uh, put uh, KPIs in place, out, uh, key performance indicators in place, and we told the operators that if they meet these KPIs, they will be penalized. We've done that before, and we're in a position to do that again if, if operators fail to meet our KPIs. Confirming the position of the Executive Commissioner Okechukwu Itanyi, the Director Consumer Affairs Bureau of the Commission, Mrs. Miriam Bayi, said the call centers opened by the NCC received about 50,000 complaints daily from aggrieved telecom subscribers across the country. The level of complaints, I will not lie to you, it's about 40 to 50,000. Per day? Yes, they're coming. But remember that it's a subscription base of over 120 million users. So if you get 40 to 50,000, it's really a very low ratio. Because, yeah, because a lot of people do not even know that they have the right to complain. Another area of concern to mobile subscribers, as pointed out by the NCC, is the numerous unsolicited text messages often sent by operators. We realize that when they ask for approval for promos, and we give the approval, the unsolicited messages you know, are taken under the promos. Because if you look at it, it will be as if they are, it's a promo. But you see, you're not there. Certain, even if you're going to do a promo, there are people who don't want to receive these messages. And when you hear your telephone make a sound, you think it's a very important message, maybe from your mother or your father or your husband. Then you now see somebody is telling you about something that does not even interest you. So we have called them for a meeting and we've told them to stop. And we are sanctioning them for if, if they continue. Though some of them, I, te I tell you, sneak under promos. And we don't realize that they're, they're there, but we are looking seriously looking at it. And now with their request, we tell them to outline exactly what that promo entails. All of this the Commission has vowed to look into, again to ensure compliance to regulatory guidelines. Well, that is the show for the week. If you have any comment or suggestions, please send them to Bayero at AIT Infotech. Until then, when I join you again in Nigeria, I am by you to come